What a lovely day here in the mighty United States of the America. Welcome everybody, welcome, welcome to Crusader Kings and oh, oh, what is this on the screen? The two lights of the Old North Church? Two lights have been spotted shining in the steeple of Boston's Old North Church, one of the few pre-cataclysmic churches still standing. There's an ancient tale about that, but I can't remember what it is. Ho ho, how jolly, of course, this is the event in, in the After the End mod, which is what we're playing today, by the way, welcome. It, this is the event that that happens just before the British turn up, but that's funny. We've only just started. We've only just started playing. Well, that's because, my friends, <laughs> who could bring order to this fine and decimated country better than you guessed it, the British themselves? It's like this is this has been a long time coming, my friends. We are going to sort this country out the way it should have been. We're going to take back what is rightfully ours and put America back on the map. Under control of Great Britain. Welcome, my friends, to the adventures of Lord Admiral Samuel Streamer of the Redcoat Dominion. Did I just fuck up my own name? What was that? What was that? Start again. We are playing as this glorious man, this randomly generated, brilliant strategist, direct leader, attractive, wrathful, cruel, proud, zealous, and ambitious man. He is, of course, British in brackets, Britannic, and worships the, the worship, the church of... Thelema, whatever the hell that is, a British mystic religion slash spiritual philosophy devoted, developed by Alistair Crowley, based on the law, do what thou wilt shall be the whole of the law. It is a polytheistic religion that draws on its pantheon of gods from religious beliefs of ancient Egypt. However, their highest deity is something or someone known only as the Queen. This is what America needs right now. The Queen and Britain to solve all of its goddamn problems. Oh shit, we can reform it. Oh, that's nice. I actually had no idea when I, uh, when, when I, when, when I thought this would be a good idea, and by this I mean conquering America. So right now you might notice, Mr. Streamer, you're not, you're not landed. Nowhere across the American states are we landed. Well, that's because, my friends, it's up to us to invade. We are in charge of the British fleets, and my god, are we gonna make a good- We are the legendary Lord Admiral Streamer. We are gonna, we're gonna give a good show. Launch the reclamation. Our once great god queen has granted you, our still great god queen has granted you the ability to launch a war of reclamation for the lands that rightfully belong to Britannia. Am I going to tip this button? You're goddamn right I'm going to tip this button because we can't really do anything else because we're unlanded, really. The British are, c are coming. A fleet has appeared off the coast, but instead of the bloodthirsty invaders landing in the east, the ships have appeared in the west instead. They claim to have sailed around the globe and in process losing most of their troops and vessels. With the small force they have remaining, a small colony has been established in Tillamook in the name of the Queen, with the locals being sacrificed to their unspeakable god. On her throne in the White Hall, the Queen yet dreams. Ah, good. A successful landing. Almost somewhat, I mean, we kind of failed. You're supposed to spawn in with loads of troops. We've, we've really fucked this up. Well done, everyone. Episode 1, we've lost all our armies. On a throne in the White Hall, the Queen yet dreams. We gain the county. I don't know where that is. Tillamook. And we also gain 2,500 men. What an incredible invasion. Well done, everyone. That'll surely take you. You know what? That's all I need. That's all I need. Just just me, 2,500 men, I'll impregnate the bitch. By which I mean I'm going to re rebuild the whole of America from the scraps that have been left behind here. Nice. There we are. We got a bloodline as well, by the way. It's the blood of Mr. Streamer. Uh, you can read through that in your own time. That's entirely down to you. But we do get same religious opinion plus five. And we periodically attract the servitude of great warriors. Which is, of course, what we are already. So we don't need to worry about that too much. But I thought that's a nice way to keep things balanced here. We've got... To, oh, actually, we've got close to 3,000 men, because our domain actually gives us a little bit as well there. So where where are we? Um, We're on the west coast somewhere. Where are we, friend? Ah, all the way up here in what I assume is Canada. I actually have no idea. Um, Where are we? Portlander. Oh, we must be in Oregon then. We are in the lovely county slash, what is it, state? We're in the lovely state of Oregon. As, man, look at this design. What the fuck is that music? I mean, it's making me feel very revolutionary, I will admit, but we need to we need to move on with that. I'm going to be chucking tea in the harbour next. Look at that man. Look at this goddamn logo. This is the greatest day of my life right here. Wow. I'm, I'm moving the troops into a neighbouring territory so we can get a better look at our boys in blue, by which I mean our boys in black and white. Look at that flag right there. More to the point, who? The, the Minutemen. Moved by the onslaught of the British. Oh, no. Men across America have banded together to form the Minutemen, a new organisation dedicated to fighting the British. But... That's me. I'm the British. I'm shaking in my boots. Oh, Barry Claude. Barry Claude. By the time I'm done with you, you'll be buried, Claude. Let me tell you. Look at that man. Look at his shield. Look at his armor. Look at that helmet. The finest helmet Britain has ever possibly provided. And here we are. 
Wow. Really got a workout for us. Or at least we didn't land somewhere like up here, right in the smack bang middle of this, because that would have sucked. To be honest, it seems like a fairly safe start, all things considered. So our first goal then, I mean, there are many goals for this campaign. Reforming the religion should be top of the tier. Bringing the glory of the queen to the American peoples seems like absolutely a safe bet here. We are, well, I don't know what Thelema is, to be honest with you. Um, but more importantly, we can reform the religion here. Bloodthirsty gods and divine marriage, already 10 out of 10. But I believe we get our own unique doctrine, don't we? Like red something, red, red tide, red sea, red five standing by. Where is it? Blood red seas. That's what I was trying to think of, but couldn't. Prisoners of a different religion can be sacrificed for piety. Sacrificing prisoners unlike special trait and actions. Armies ignore defensive attrition. We get increased defensive capabilities. We prefer coastal counties and ship maintenance costs reduced by 10%. So it seems like a combination between like bloodthirsty gods and um, seabound, right? So that's obviously very good. Divine marriage, warmongering, temporal. I've already basically designed the religion. Can't wait to do this. This sounds very cool. Now the question is though, where are our holy sites? Uh, we are going to have to conquest coast to coast. And that's something we've never really done before in After the End. We've never really done a massive... We've never done an American unification. All I've ever done is, is made the United States, which is just like this area over here, sort of like uh, the, the East Coast US, basically. I've never once gone coast to coast. So that's our goal. Let's cut this country in half and let's build it up for the Queen. So we've got the Bronx... Um, oh my god, our holy sites are literally on the other side of the map. We've got Washington. Okay, incredible. We've got Washington, D.C., I would assume. Um, Cambridge, we have uh, Scarborough, and finally we have the, the, the Glebe, the Gelb. What is that? I have no idea. Um, around Ontario. So it's, it's all East Coast. We landed on completely the wrong side of the earth, as the, uh, as the intro message said there. This is going to be interesting. I'm looking forward to this. We've never really done a proper... We've never done a proper world conquest. Not that I'm saying that I'm doing that, but I think we will, we will try and conquest all of the American areas, right? We'll try and get all of the states back under control, and I'm going to rename the whole thing Britain, and I'm going to get a million down. This is the story of my channel being mass unsubscribed from. Can't wait. So, to start off with then... Um, what have we really got going for us? We've got the capital. The capital's called Beaverton. The capital's got his legs here. Dragon Ball music. The capital's called Beaverton. Holy shit, are you joking? I've never heard of anything so... I was going to rename everything so it was more British sounding. Like Tillamook, we're going to rename because that just doesn't work, right? Beaverton, don't need to touch it. Right, what's a British sounding... Uh, what's a British sounding town? Probably like... I'm going to call it Sodbury. That's a very British town. Boggerton. No, that's even better. We're going to call it the capital of Boggerton. Perfect. Uh, oh my god, it's called Boggerton, and then the capital is called Beaverton. <laughs> Alright, I'm I'm all about this. What about like trade routes and things? Because we need to sort of play it off for a while. Ah, oh, shit, we just missed the trade route. Damn it. Um, well, that's a little annoying there. Oh, it's actually in Portland. That's fine. I mean, that's going to be one of the first places we conquest, right? I think starting off by conquesting... Oregon would be a really, really great start. And then obviously above us is Washington, he says, with less confidence than he has in, in, in American geography the more he thinks about it. Right, let's set up our council then. We've got, yep, oh, they're all American. Can't trust them. Ah, oh, this guy, Arthur. Arthur and Hector. Classic British names there, my good friend Hector. Um, you know what? We need to hire some courtiers then. All of our men have, have sort of died on the journey over here. Um, we need to, oh my god, I haven't got any piety either. I've got nothing. We've got nothing. All of our ships with our stuff in must have sunk. Let's make Buggerton our crown focus for the time being. Let's pick an ambition. What do we want to go for? Probably Groom and Air. What's our... Oh my god, we need to check like succession. We need to check laws. We need to check what the hell we can hold for our government type. I assume we're just regular feudal there. Um, court position we'll deal with in a minute. Character focus then. Let's build a dynasty that will last... Oh, we also need to change this shit because this is vile. We need to build a dynasty that will survive the test of time. Let's go for... Family. No, let's go seduction focus. What am I, a coward? Let's go seduction focus to start off with here. And let's change this garbage, uh, just terrible coat of arms here. Right, okay, I'm thinking. Let's go uh, party per cross. And let's just see what mess we can make. Let's just see what absolute just state of affairs we can throw together here. What, what if we go back to the start? Oh, that, that one was good. Wait, 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 go back to 30. That's perfect. Okay, and then with uh, this slot here. I like that one. I, I'm always been, and I've said this many times, I'm a, I'm a big fan of the flag designs that don't quite, they look like they could work, but they're all slightly off. Like, this line doesn't slightly line up. It's got, like, an extra bit here. It's got a random white square. That's perfect. Now we've got to customize it and make it look just, just incredible. Oh, that's already looking really nice. Um, uh, got nice green. Green goes perfect with that. Uh, green and purple are, are classically very nice complementary colors. Look at this. This is what I'm talking about. Like a nice, to be fair, orange and red works a little too well. So we might want to, we want to, might want to go back to the drawing board with that one. A nice sky blue. What about like a really, a horrible yellow? That would work well. Uh, is there even a yellow in the CK2? Sorry, I won't spend too long on this. There we go. There we go. 
I mean, it's basically already perfect. I want to change the black, though, because black goes too well with everything. Actually, to be fair, that works a lot better. And then change this one to, like, uh, uh, just a fucking, like, horrendous... Uh, that brown? That brown will do it. And then we need some emblems. We will have the mighty number six. Whatever number six is. The mighty tower... Of Britain. We actually have, you guys have probably heard of it in the news, the Tower of Britain. It's where Boris Johnson lives. Then, of course, we've got quite famously the the, the other Tower of Britain. That's next door. It's it's the two Towers of Britain. You, got, you guys copied us. Well, at least you did for a while. Then we've got the mighty, the mighty Dragon of Britain. Uh, which, that's the one that St. George killed, which is why we put it on our flag, to taunt him. Uh, that's why the Welsh do it, anyway. And then we've got the Dove of Britain, to show that we are peaceful warmongers. Perfect. That is the perfect flag right there, for the perfect man. Oh my god, we've got seven diplomacy. Shit. We've got 22 martial, though. So you know what, in the early game, that's all I really care about. What are, what are our troop types looking like? So we've got 1,500 light infantry, 500 archers, 300 heavy infantry, 200 cavalry, led by the mightiest and glorious man who's ever looked. That actually does look like me as well, so can't really complain too much. Right, council positions will have to let some time tick first. We got, oh, it gave us 1,000 tech points. Nice. Um... Siege equipment might be important when we've got quite a small army. I don't really want to waste it doing assaults or anything like that. So I'm going to sink some points into siege equipment. Let's go like construction. Yeah. So that we can... Because we're not going to get very much money for a long time. At least until we conquest like Portland. Get the trade post. Till we start bringing together a kingdom sized area. I, I think this is probably the safest bet. I'm going to stick some points in that then. We've got... Um, tolerance, absolutely not. We're, we're British colonials. Tolerance should be, honestly, not even level one, let's be honest here. Legalism, though. Legalism. Stick a flag in somewhere, convince people it's in the right place, they'll never complain. Perfect. Um, we've got some other points, but we'll save them up for the time being, because to be honest, they're probably still... Actually, no, let's put some into military organization. Let's go a little bit into shipbuilding as well, because we can raid, I believe, right? Yeah, we can. Okay, so shipbuilding's probably going to be slightly relevant. And then we've also got... Majesty. Majesty's normally garbage. I'm going to go with it because, of course, we worship her, as in, as in her Majesty. Grand tournament, waste of time. Council position. I mean, we can fill that. We can fill up like our minor titles, our court position, without going out and hiring someone. Arthur, you're a fine man. He's a he's a bookworm. He's a scholar and a saint. Welcome to the council. We've got Alan, the mayor of Tigard. I don't want to hire any Americans. It's going to be a non-American council right here because you can't trust him. Um, who's this lossful lady? Hello, a vein. She'll do. Um, take concubine. Give me a vein. You shall make glorious British children. Thank you. Um, what's this button? Oh, Brazil. Right, I forgot that we could uh, come. We can, we can, on this scenario, come to Brazil, Mr. Streamer. All right. Uh, Pedro, my friend. We can send a monk to him. Have we got any Americans? Sorry, I'm not shipping them off then. No, they're, they're too valuable to us. They're, they're too valuable. The Emperor likes cowboys. What the fuck? What the hell is a cowboy? Is that like a trait, maybe? Like, you can become a cowboy if you live in Texas or something, somewhere in the south. I have no clue. Don't worry about that. Right, let's set some time tick. Let's set some time tick. Let, let some courtiers generate, that type of thing. We've only got seven men in court right now. Here we go. Uh, nope, they're still American. Uh, we need to start converting, actually. That would be a really good thing to start off with. So, invite, like, a holy man into court when we've got enough piety. I'm going to mark that as much interest, because it really is. Now, we should have societies. Nice, there we go. Okay. So one of the problems with playing as a British man in America is there isn't a lot to do because people don't like you. So we have the Orders of Chivalry mod. We can essentially, because it's not obviously there's no members of these societies, at least there won't be a few members of these societies, we can join them and maybe start turning them into a true-blown British society. That man, he looks like a trustworthy fella. Do you want to join, join the Berserkers or the Warriors Guild? Um, what the hell is the difference? I have no clue. I feel like joining the Berserkers is a bit more appropriate though. Let me in. Well met, Samuel. You have the highest honor to receive a letter from me, Karag, Bear of the Berserkers. Welcome, my friend, for glory. Let's join. Let's build ourselves up there, Squirrel. Yeah, that also seems appropriate, Mr. Streamer. Bear gives us the... Okay, so it's it's the... If you've seen me play with the Orders of Chivalry Mod before, we played with it last series. It's just a very good generic warrior lodge. You know, obviously, you've only really gotten the base game, the, 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 the religious-based ones. Whereas this actually allows you to just join it if you're interested in martial, which of course we are. And again, there aren't any of the societies unless you're a specific brands of American here and there. So we kind of really have nothing to do there. Nice. Okay, that's a great start. Now about this dynasty then. Let's find ourselves a wife. If she's American, I, I kind of don't mind. I, I mean, we can let it go. As long as we keep the inbreeding going for a bit, we can... We can Get in a lot more British blood than American blood eventually. We just need somewhere to kickstart, you know? My man's not a strawberry. You can't just send off a... Are these people not in my court? Who the fuck are you guys? The overseer's merchants? Oh, there are other British people around. Right, okay, got it. Um, but we'd have to send them some money to leave their merchant fleet. Maybe this is what the rest of our... Maybe this is where the rest of our ships ended up, huh? So we can probably hire these guys. Oh, they might even be a holy order. Um, what are they? The overseer's merchants? 
Uh, I can't see them, but chances are I'm just blind, so don't worry about it too much. He's there. I mean, it says he's a mercenary man, but don't worry about it too much. Cool. All right, then. Um, the question is, where do we want to go to war with first? We've got 2,500 men. I want to take Portland, because I feel like that that's the capital of Oregon, right? That would give us a good amount of, I imagine, cash. She's only got 2,500 troops. She's currently at war with um, Emerson of Clatsop. In the Portland War of the County Cats up. So we could actually like finish that and launch an invasion cast spell against her. Chance our troops will also get knocked on the head as well at the same time. Or we roll with it now while she's distracted and basically guarantee the victory. You know what? I'm going to do this. Because if she loses that one, we can just invade that one anyway as well, right? Because I assume we have unlimited invasions. Actually, do we though? Um, mine might, might makes right. Lord Samuel of the Red Coat can declare invasions of land. If successful, all titles will currently occupy homes of the Yeah, okay, sure. Uh, depends if we can only do that once. We don't have enough prestige for it anyway, so I don't even know why I'm bothered. Conquest of Portland. Let's do it. That's a really, really essential title that I think will give us just a whole bunch of nice stuff. Let's head over to their capital first. Then, oh my god, this runs fast. Fucking hell, that's a nice change of pace. Let's just let it, let it fight them, fight them down. We need to let them come to us. I don't want to take a river crossing over there. Greetings, Samuel. Hello, my good friend Orlando. Orlando the Mad. Let me fight the best trick to improve with you, blah, blah, blah. Fight field experience. Yes, we need to lead our men into battle. That was very coincidental. So that's one of the many random events we can get from the Berserkers to um, essentially, you know, progress through the society. Like the Benedictine Order might be do penance. You are fools and cowards and idiots. 2,200 men. They're attacking over a river. Oh, shit, they're sending another 600. I still think they'd lose that. Well, let's see how it do. Let's see how it do. I feel like we've got this in the bag. Uh, we might not have this in the bag. Shit. Reinforcements? Move in. I, I completely forgot we had to main size. Come on. News from Brazil. I don't care about Brazil, for fuck's sake. Yes, we've got him. Okay. That was a little risky, huh? Do we want to take the planes? I mean, what is this area around us? Is it? Is it? I mean, this is... Poland is planes. We've got... I mean, clearly quite a mountainous region like nearby so i feel like there's mountain forest a little bit of planes here and there obviously if we wanted to go into the center area then i think something tells me that planes might be a good idea if we're going onto the great plains huh um focus on planting i don't want to do oh it's siege leader might be a bad idea siege plus 40 percent like i said when we've got such a small amount of troops this seems like a pretty good plan clap them clap them castle cheeks faster boy there we go right let's merge these troops together excuse me i said let's merge these troops together thank you very much let's see what we get this fucking music is killing me. get out of here my god, if I hear another flute, I'm actually going to go back to fucking England at this point. Right, merge together. There we go. I mean, basically, we've got this in the bag already. Well, that's a fantastic start. Thank you. Boom. Look at that. Lord Admiral Samuel of the Redcoat Dominions is set the title of the Temple of the Troutdale from Duchess Caitlin the Able. Thank you. Nice. Okay, that's a fantastic start. I mean, Portland will make a much better capital, and it's on the sea as well. I assume we can navigate Major River, right? Let's just double check here. Um... Uh, it's because we can navigate major... Yeah, fleets can navigate major rivers. Cool, okay. Portland, better capital, I think, than Buggerton. We need to rename it as well. Portland does not sound very British. I'm going to call it... I'm going to call it... It's a very it's a very British British name. Um, What about... Uh, what's this river called? I, I, I'll show you. Uh, uh, it's called the Columbia River. Right, so I'm going to call this uh, the Ninny... Ninny on uh, Columbia. That's how you name cities in the UK, right? Or, or counties or anywhere. If it's near something, it's called on or upon. And then you call it what it's after, right? So we've got the Ninny on Columbia. Great capital name. Right next door to Buggerton. Down the road from... Well, I guess when we conquer somewhere else, we'll have to name it then. Right, get rid of this fucking... Get rid of... Troutdale already sounds fantastic. Dale is a very American suffix, but I'll let you have it. Gresham also sounds pretty British, so I'll let you have that one too. Right, there we go. Okay, we can't hold cities. I didn't just... I need to check our, like, succession lords and everything too. I'm getting distracted here. Um, by, you know, winning wars, which... Well, I think that's fair. Feudal. Uh, we are just, yeah, just boring old feudal. Okay, so we can't hold city or anything. That's fine. Move our capital in the same lifetime every 600 months. We've already done that, chief. Tribal governments are not limited. Okay, that's kind of nice. Can't grant kingdom status to empire character. Yeah, okay, that's also fine as well. Let's take a look at our laws. We are... Uh, uh, gavel kind. Oh, fuck. Okay. Gavel kind with no chance to change it? Oh, my God. Okay. Um... That's really bad. I don't like that at all. Okay, fine. I guess that's par for the course, really. Um, same sort of laws as usual, though. Uh, what, the, what are council looking like? Oh, they're abolished. Nice. We should definitely pass one of these immediately, then. Um, low centralization, less vassals, more domain size. What's the domain size already? Two out of nine. You know what? Let's not touch that one unless we need it. As far, unless we've already got some valuable land. I'm, I'm going to ignore that one for time. Is this fucking music really loud to you guys as well? That's 
I'm, I remember the soundtrack in this always being just all over the place. So I apologize if the music is um, a little odd. It's going to take me some change in here. Revoke title. Boom. Do it. There we go. Nice. Dictatorship. That's how we do it. That's how the queen does it. What else we got here? Technology we don't need to worry about really for the time being. I should have, shouldn't have invested it into a bug return in hindsight. Vassals we've got. These guys, which of course aren't really going to like us too much. We need to start proselytizing. Um, we've got enough now to invite Holy Man to court. So let's absolutely do it. Hello, my friend. Charles. Charles of Tigger, the mystic man. Welcome. Welcome aboard. Let's get you on the council immediately then. I should probably set up anybody on the council, I guess, is better than no one. Oh, shit. Look at Belzegar. He's so much better. Well, okay. Um, let's start proselytizing Portland then, so I feel like that's a bit more important than Buggerton. Oh, sorry. Ninny on, Ninny on Columbia. Minister of the Interior. Arthur, you'll do, my friend. 14, 14 intrigue. It's not terrible, but, you know, beggars can't be choose at this point. You're American. I can be that much of a chooser, though. You're perfect. Hector, with his, with his 18 marshal, welcome aboard. You are, you are very much welcome, my friend. And then finally, it's just Americans again. We'll have to hire some other people on the council here. Let's fight some nobles. Max, sorry? Man, Manzami? Manjomi? I've never heard that. Oh, I'll trust you. I'll trust you. Borogov. That's our brother of Den Denigrove. We've got Yaffle. <laughs> Yaffle is a fantastic name as well. And then Malcolm. We'll leave it there. There we go. Right, that'll do it. Um, Chancellor, still only Alan. You know what? Yaffle, Yaffle will have to take the lead. Wait, but he's only got seven fucking diplomacy. Nah, not doing it. Um, fine. You know what? We don't have a choice, really. Like I said, it's better to have someone than no one. And that's just that's just completely true, unfortunately. And then Steward. Malcolm, Malcolm, Malcolm the Steward, literally in the middle right there. Perfect for us. Let's get him collecting taxes. Let's get you training troops. Let's get you, I think, honestly, scheming is probably the right idea. Uh, British invaders turning up and around immediately met by the Minutemen and immediately conquesting quite a powerful province. I feel like we're probably on a hit list already. So let's, and you got to remember, this is where the Men in Black would probably get involved. Those factions do exist. There are literally Assassin's Guild in America right now. So you have to be a bit careful of those guys. Designate a region, I think, my good friend Manfield. Man, sounds a bit risky. Sounds a bit, sounds a bit untrustworthy, but you know what? We'll go for it anyway. Um, Cut Barrel, just quickly just give these out to anybody. As long as they're British, I don't really give too much of a shit, to be honest with you. Master of the Bow, uh, Tarrant, welcome. Mayor of Gresham. Court Shooter, uh, you'll do Arthur. There you go, take over for that one. Master of Arms, we've got uh, Manfield. So one thing cool added by the Orders of Chivalry mod is the ability to set yourself up as Squire. Now, Squire, what they will essentially do is, as they get educated, it'll give them traits that consolidate their skills into Martial. So it'll take like a couple of points from Entry, a couple of points from Stewardship, but it'll give them the equivalent amount of points in Martial. So if you're looking for specifically just Conquerors and, you know, Manifest Destiny, just, just taking everything that the light touches is our kingdom and all that shit, that's what you want to do. You want to absolutely name a squire. Now, we might not want to do that normally with our primary heir, especially if we've got, like, a bigger round to manage, something like that. Might be, a, might be more of a risky play there. Commanders, Arthur. Commander Arthur, welcome aboard. And then I'm oh, just going to fucking also assign it. Even if they're American. They, they're American blood, that can be spelt on American soil as far as I'm concerned. It'd be, it'd, be, it'd be disrespectful to not allow that. Right, let's go for that military organization. I'm going to go for a bit more siege equipment. Let's go for construction. Nice work. What a shame I wasted all those goddamn points in Buggerton in hindsight, huh? Let's not worry about that. We're basically done with that. Now, what decisions do we actually have for the berserkers then? Military training. This is what, for those of you who watched last series, Brother Love I Get did to buff himself up ridiculously. But I've no idea how the hell the AI found a way because there's a limit to it. I think we can only do it like a couple of times. And somehow in the last series, one of our AI characters found a way to do it over and over and over and over. And just stacked loads and loads of combat skills. If we could find, a, if we could find the hole in the system, that would be kind of cool. Um, get into shape as well, as far as I recall, only basically just gives us a temporary military and fertility bonus, but I guess while we don't have an heir, that might be a good idea. Um, let's request military training, because that's definitely our top priority there, and then we'll also, I guess we can get into shape as well. Oh shit, we got it first time, look at that. We get perfect shape, well, I mean, you know, I do sit in a chair 12 hours a day after all. Fertility plus 10%, health plus 0 0.5, sex appeal plus 6, and personal combat plus 5, as if you could get any more perfect with a beard like that. Um, I mean, I will go to the barbers between episodes here, because that's a complete state. Great start. All right. Now, I don't know what a good province is in my area. So this is a job for you, my friends, in the comments. What the hell am I looking for here? Short of clicking, like, what I would have to do as someone with a very um, low-level American geography knowledge is to click on every single province and see where there are lots of holding slots and then decide, oh, that's pretty good. Let's go for that one. Um, I mean, what? I mean, where is, where is like... Where, where are your bit? What about, what about this place? This seems this seems important. Oh, look at this. San Francisco. That's a name I know. So maybe we want to conquer South first and try and unite the sort of uh, the West Coast. Because this seems like a very, very good province. Because I mean, look at the amount of gold they've got coming in there. What's the religion and things? Let's take a look. Um, Cetic. Okay. 
So we're in the middle of Gaian territory right now. We've got Sutu, we've got Mormon there. Catholic and Norse, and I mean, you guys know those. And there's lots of various sort of Christianity. Rust Cultist, that's where we played last time. Go check out that series if you want to see more America. Um, and then we've got like this guy here. Who are you? Celestia Emperor Elton the Fourth. Elton Yodko. A Valian, what is this? Figurehead Emperor. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that would be a fun playthrough at some time. I think I remember seeing this guy last time we played, right? Playing as this guy and trying to reclaim the territory that you've lost. I guess he's like the head of the religion or something like that. Um, yeah, there you go. Celestial Emperor Elton the, the Fourth there. Very nice. The Emperor, Buddha, Christ, and Hubbard. Oh, my lord. Wow. It's a, it's if Reddit was turned into a fucking religion. Right, let's avoid that one. Um, all right, so that's fine. Then. We know we're in Seated Lands. Let's, let's avoid getting into too many religious sort of wars right now. We've only got to worry about Holy Wars from this particular group. So we'll sort of stick to that for the time being. Where's our next good war goal then? That's the point I was going to make. I don't know what, what sort of the next province to go for in this area should be. And we'll start working towards that. Um, all up here is tribal. In fact, let's check my government types. That could also help out a little bit. Oh, shit. Wow. Um, well... I guess we'll truly stick to this area of the coast, right? I mean, we've got Vancouver directly north, right? What's that, like, here? Uh, somewhere around here, right? What the fuck are these fuckers is ba Vancouver? I have absolutely no... I thought it was, like, around here somewhere, but I might be completely wrong, I guess. Um, somewhere around here, we might want to grab that. Oh, there it is, Vancouver, right. So we could go and grab that one. I assume that would also be a pretty good province on this sort of coast to try and grab. But for the time being, I'm pretty happy with what we've got. What does Speed 5 look like? Oh, very fast man. Um, I feel like in that case, we could probably turn down the autosave a little bit just so it's not interrupting you guys too much. Let's go, of course, language English, how dare you. Let's go for, let's go for that. Right, I'm going to go for weak rules in that case, seeing as I have no idea what to go for next. Um, you've got levies raised still. Do these reinforce? Do these troops we got reinforce? No. Ah, okay. So we've got to be very careful that we do pick provinces that are valuable. Because worst case scenario is we throw away all our troops getting a bunch of shite that is no use to anyone, right? Um... She's only got 900 troops, so I feel like it's going to be just a very easy war. Invasion, Cassus Belli. I'm happy to throw against, like, Jefferson. I think that might be a really, really safe idea, just chucking out there. Or even going for, like, Lincoln or something. Um, what about, what have we got, like, the valley here? What have they got? We'll check, like, realm size and things when it becomes relevant. Right now, not a big deal. Uh, but, but, but when we're in a larger realm size, cause we, can, we couldn't fight these guys even if we wanted to. When we have borders with them or whatever else, then we'll start checking realm size and seeing where might be a safe place to use our invasion, just in case it is, like, a one-off thing. Um, what about you? You've got 1,600 men. Okay, let's avoid you too. Then let's pick on her. She's already at war with two other people, so I feel like this is absolutely a safe bet. And this province also isn't siege. Let's just roll with it. Right, troops. Let's go. Let's stretch our legs. Hey, we've already got a thousand troops from our domain side, so I'm pretty happy with that one. And how long is it until recently conquered? Have they adjusted that one? Um, next year. Cool. And then new administration should last 30 years. Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, just like last 30 years. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So, so same story as base game seeker 2. It's nice they haven't changed too many of the core mechanics here. This should be a walk in the fucking park. Genuinely. 18% war score. Where are their troops? Do you even have any troops? Have you got any raised? Um, she does. Where, where are you then? Command of land, all the way up in... S oh, Seattle! Hey, that's a good idea. Yeah, we should definitely go and grab that one, too. I completely forgot about that. Um, maybe, try and, maybe trying to unite all of this coast would be a good idea to start with and then cut America in half. Do, like, a T-shape across the whole of the U.S. I, mean, I, I also love the Empire the empire symbol there as well. That's that's just absolutely... I should do this for every goddamn series. It's so on brand. Right. There are hosts of in this life as well, my friend. Or tell us more of Buddha... Someone's tried to convince us that the Queen is, of course, not the one true God. What do we do with heretics? That's right, we burn them. We burn them in the name of the Queen. Oh, wait, I want to actually burn him, though. Where is he? Uh, was it you? Holman, burn. You will burn in the name of the Queen. Uh, I mean, maybe I can't. Execute. There we go. Get fucking roasted. Oh, I'll hang you in the name of the Queen. Uh, burn in British also means also means hanged. It's, it's, a, it's a dialect thing. So now we're going through our training, and this is with our society. This isn't like after the end or anything. This is entirely separate mod. So this this guy is going to teach us basically how to be a better fighter. At the end of this, there's a chance of upgrading our leadership traits. I believe you can also get new leadership traits. That might be our pilgrimage, though, instead that I'm thinking of there. More to the point, increase our fighting trait, and that's going to be very good for battlefield duels, things like that, which I imagine we'll get into a lot of, uh, which also tend to kill most of my good characters here. Deceitful. Honestly, it's not bad. Um, diplomacy minus two. Ah, oh, I can't really afford to lose any more diplomacy. It's only a 10% chance, so we might as well just roll the dice on it, huh? Oh my god, he really wants us to be deceitful. I wonder if it's based on his own traits, now that I think about it. Oh god, this guy wants us to be Gaian. Um, there are horrors to suffer in this life as well, my friend. My good friend, Patton Olshi. Goodbye, Patton Olshi. Yeah, is that Lincoln? Is this a, is this a hippie society? What's going on with that? Oh my god, we crucified him. Did we just crucify a heretic episode one? 
Confirmed best series, 2018. What year is it? Sorry, I don't, I don't remember anymore. Berserkers, rank me up, boy. Um, oh my god, I completely forgot about this. I should have waited until we finished our training. Uh, so what we can do to rank up through the society, you have to fight a duel. Uh, so I might have just got us killed here. There is a duel engine added by the Order of Chivalry mod. Gonna be honest, I've spoken about this quite extensively. I don't really like additional duel systems. I think they're unnecessary. I'm just gonna skip it, because apparently it's also super easy to scum it up as well. There's like certain moves that are just arbitrarily better than others. We're gonna skip it. And you know what? I'm glad we had faith there. Victory is yours. The referees have stopped the fight and declared you as the winner. We are now considered a veteran. Nice. And if you lose the duel, you go back a rank as well. I should point that out. One step close to the edge. I'm about to break. We are now known as Boar. Okay, I don't know if that's particularly good. Let's just keep following this dude's advice, because I think that will, in turn, give us a higher chance of, uh, of you know, uh, increasing our skills. I think it's a higher chance to succeed in the event, then. Arbitrary. Oh, please don't. Okay, thank you. Uh, wait, what? Oh, it was conquered. Was that a peasant revolt? Wait, who? Oh, my God, Seattle got it. Damn it, we're now at war with Seattle. Okay, that's a little annoying, as you can imagine. How many troops have they got? Hey, that's good. Thank you, Damien. Converting to the one true faith. They've only got a thousand men. Oh, there they are. Um, are we moving a lot? Oh, shit, we're moving a lot. Well, I guess I'm taking over across. And we should be fine either way, so don't worry about it too much. Now, there can be good traits. So you saw that. We, we had a chance to get an Erudite out of that. Oh, my God, we got crushed. Fuck. Um, turns out, speed five in this genuinely does mean speed five, huh? Oh, my God. Now we're completely screwed. All my event spawn troops are dead already. Um, <laughs> mercenaries? You got any more of those? I'm not, I'm not losing episode one. I refuse. I refuse. Give me some money, bankers. Give me some money, bankers. 100 gold. I'll take it. Right, okay. Uh, still can't hire any troops. Complete fucking waste of gold. Hey, you want a white piece? Uh, white piece. Nope. Oh, my God. I've got to give him 200 gold. Ah! Okay. Going from playing that last mod that we played, where speed 5 was, like, genuinely basically like speed 2 in this, to it being rocket fast, kind of my own fault, but hopefully you can kind of see why I wasn't expecting that to, to go in that direction. Being so used to the complete shit show that was that last Mythos mod pack. Well, now we're in debt. But hey, I think this is a fine start. This is a fine. It's a minor setback, but it's an otherwise fine start. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think of this horrible series idea. If you're American offended by this, please, for a start, shove it up your ass. Secondly, it's a joke. Don't worry about it. I mean, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, America's a great place. It's lovely. Full of lovely people in my Discord. Speaking of which, you can join that below. And I'll see you guys all tomorrow after I've given a shout out to my good friends, the patrons, who I'm going to ask right now, right here, if you guys want some American, no, no, British names, strong, good British names for vassalage. If you would like to be a vassal in the new world, gain some land like we did all them years ago, but we don't like talking about, then you guys too can join me in America. Do you have your passports? Did you get your shots? Girl, would you like to come back with me to America? Big thanks to Alpha Scuff, Anthony Gawley, Asuna Kirito, Atmos, His Average Gamer 419, Bacon Kitten, Daniel, Sedini, Crazy Pack, Croesus, Donald, Fukuna Vasquez, Fluffy Nutter, Ghost of Protocol, Gogolus, Sarik, Jimbo, Jonah Waters, Josh Lindeen, Tesla, Justin Wallace, Kenny Carter, Michael Mullen, Musk Ratful, Navas Goose 911, Nathan Flores, Necrofan, and Palvis Presley, Rodin, Scott, Skaz, Somnus, Stannis the Manus, Shayok, St the Forsaken One, T by Cruz, Tom Terry 18, Tyler Kendall, Vacuous Backers, William Green, and Zazzy. 7011. Thank you for your support. The Santa Lovers on Patreon. Thank you for making the channel possible in the first place. I apologize if this episode has at all offended any of you. Please note, it is a bit, it's a big old joke. We're just, why you have to be mad? Why, we've played as America the last two times we played this mod. Now I've got to get a bit of personal revenge, huh? It's not even revenge. It's just a, just a fun game. Haha. <laughs> it's a video game. Why you have to be mad? Thank you as well to Astro, Adam Person, Aiden W, Andrew Wilson, Attila, Austin Taylor, Board Doom, Ben Trope, Asmus Max, Better Valerian, Black Double H, Chris, David Van Diepen, Don, Don Connie 2 and 7, Easy to Pronounce Name, Emerald Beam, Exploding Knees, Fraser Brennan, Gabriel Van Ders, Gaz, Genji Zucker, Gompo, Gray, Hajidamar, Henrik Stensgaard, Icarus, I See the Great, Israel, Isaac, Burrows, Jay Lara, Jacob Wolfie, James Barnes, Jason Sushu, Jose, Yuan DeVries, Jessica Smith, John Holiday, Jordan Campbell, Joseph Beer, Justin Pluck, Justin Walters, Luan and Thomas, Luke Wallace, Mastulp, Monty, Nathaniel Lundberg, Nick, Noah Gallimore, Pan Summit, Panther Payback 1 through 7, Peyton Denisar, Russian Oligarch, Billionaire, Shari, Smirtworm, Socrates, every time, Super Nanny 89, Talar, The Bloody Knight, Blonkery, Varagon, Voodoo Mumbo, Wesley Grayson, Will Wade, Wilson Atef, Wolfie Yorkus, and Zico 2. See you guys all tomorrow for a fresh dose of America. Thanks, everyone. Godspeed.